this week on Supernatural Hour. Enjoy the most inspiring and thought-provoking videos for your weekend. Who do men say I am? Perception is the way something is regarded, understood, or interpreted. Madigo. And he needed to know what the people are thinking about him. What are people's perception of me? What do they say I am? And then they say, I never follow what they say. Hey. You must discover who he is for yourself. Oh my God. Because if you do not gather and now discover who he is, and this may lead you astray. Your teacher can lead you astray. Or your professor, your lecturer, sometimes your father or your mother, or somebody you regard in society will define who Jesus is for you. But you need to understand him yourself by discovering him, by knowing who he is. And today, we are presenting to you who Jesus is. You are a Melchizedekian priest. You belong to the Melchizedekian priesthood, not the Levites, not the Aaronic, but you belong to the Melchizedekian priesthood. Why? Because three levels of anointings rest on the Melchizedekian priesthood. The anointing of a prophet, the anointing of a king, and the anointing of a priest. Oh, that is why you, you belong to the royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, Call out of darkness to display the wonders of the living God. Tell your neighbor, say my neighbor. My neighbor. Finish drinking milk. Finish drinking milk. Come to where meat is enjoyed. Come to where meat is enjoyed. And this is how this church will be. We must go somewhere. We must go somewhere. You are a priest forever. See how deep David was. David was deep. 1,000 years before Jesus would come, he saw that the king of Jerusalem, the high priest of the Most High God, the prophet that Abraham gave his tithe to, that guy had no father, no mother, no earthly genealogy. That means he came from heaven. This is what in theology we call Christophany. Christophany is the pre-incarnate Christ visiting earth before manifesting through the womb of men. Why miracles happen. Jesus walked on water Amen. to get there and to save the situation. Amen. So when there is no such situation, you don't make sure of that you are going to walk on water. Walk on water for what? Man. Where is the relevance? In other words, every miracle is necessitated by relevance. Every miracle happens because it is relevant. You need to be healed Amen. so that you will go back to work. Amen. That is the nature of miracles. Are you here with me? Amen. Young man, you need to find a job after you have graduated from the university. And I pray that God God's favor guides you. Amen. So miracles will come into our lives when something is needed, when something is necessary. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes nothing happens at all. Amen. But if something doesn't happen, it doesn't mean your Jesus is not alive. Amen. Oh, sometimes it is just for you to pass through that situation according to the arrangement of destiny, according to arrangement of the pattern and plan of God, that as you go through that, you will emerge a winner. Amen. Is somebody here a man? So whatever it is, it is well with my soul. Amen. And Jesus is still alive. Amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of Supernatural Hour. We hope that you were blessed and inspired by today's message. Remember, it's your hour of healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and restoration. God bless you. Bishop E. O. Ansa is a prolific Bible teacher or expositor and dynamic conference speaker, and for this cause has traveled to several nations. 
He holds degrees in computer science, theology, and law, and is committed to the expansion of God's kingdom on earth through Jesus Christ. Bishop E. O. Ansa is author of several books, including The Spirit of Excellence, Dreaming Big in Small Places, The Sword of Solomon, and Power Ideas for Success.